Okay, uh, if you guys are ready, it's uh, our pleasure to hand over to uh, Captain Cernan. Hey guys, I guess there's no gals up there, but uh, this is Gene Cernan, I, uh, I'm i envious. I wish I could be up there with you. You're doing one heck of a great job, and uh, you got a big legacy to build upon, and uh, from where you leave off, we're going to uh, get those kids down here excited about pressing on and going even further. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be able to do this, but congratulations, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm personally proud. I, I, I'm at the age now where I think most of you were probably in diapers or knee pants when I went to the moon, but uh, uh, at least what we did worked because it inspired you to do what you're doing. i got a couple guests here. Can they just say one word like hello? Hey, absolutely can. Great to see you all. Hi, guys. It's a pleasure to be here and to uh, see you. Hello, this is uh, Chuck, Bar voice on board. This is Chuck Barisi saying hello to the space station. Uh, thanks for all you do. Uh, Captain cernan has been singing your praises all day, and uh, we really appreciate it all. Thank you. Hey, uh, thank you. Great, uh, great to hear your voice. Go ahead. Hi, guys. This is uh, David Cisco. I'm with uh, Space Center Houston, and we spend a lot of time talking about what you guys do up there, and we're real proud of you. Congratulations. We're uh, regular visitors to Space Center Houston. Hey, I got it. This is Gene Cernan again. I, you guys don't. You're living in a hotel. You're living in a palatial palace up there. I got to go back to the Gemini days when you had to share elbow room with your buddy and you never got out of your spacesuit for three days. Uh, I can go on and on, but, uh, you know, we talked about living up there like we live down here. We didn't even have... Uh, have hot water on the moon for that cup of coffee, but uh, I tell you what, you deserve it all, and it, it tells us how far we've come, and uh, and yet how far we've got to go. God bless you guys. You're in our prayers and thoughts. Thank you very much, sir. It's uh, great to see you on board. And I I don't know, can you guys all hear me? Shake your head if you can. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, well, there is still a, a lot of gals on board, just like you said. Uh, we're, we're, hopefully that will change more in the future. My first commander was uh, Sonny Williams. So uh, women are moving out here into the space field. And you're right, the space station is a, is a palace, uh, actually. We did fly up here in the Soyuz, though, and I bet you uh, entrance, elbow room, it's pretty tight, too. But we didn't have to spend a lot of time in it, and uh, we only have uh, four hours home from here. It is, uh, it is a pleasure to fly up uh, and down to the space station. I've been up here about a little over 100 days now, and uh, Tom and Chris have been up here about 45 or so, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, living in space is, uh, is something we could do now because of what you guys did uh, those years ago. I think I was 12 uh, when you came home from the moon the last time, and these guys were probably 12 or 13. We're all about the same age, and you did inspire us uh, for sure, just like, uh, just like the whole world, frankly. Every place I go in the world, they know NASA because of uh, what you guys did uh, back that uh, that long ago. But we do have a lot of good people there now carrying on the traditions. And what we're doing up here is fantastic. It really is. I I, uh, it, I was impressed before I came, and I'm even more impressed after being here. So the ground teams are great. The mission is great, and it is going to make a huge difference uh, to a few generations 100 years from now that are going to benefit from what we're doing up here and, of course, benefit from what you did uh, those years ago, too. So uh, yours is a remarkable story. We can't compete with that. Great to have you in the center and, and truly have you on board the International Space Station, too. Thank you. One last thought we always used to look at is if we stood on the shoulders of uh, the giants of a nation. Remember, you guys, when you get back, the job's not done. You are now the shoulders for those kids to stand upon. God bless.